Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here and thanks for watching my videos. Today is August the 15th of 2017 and just wanted to come on and chat about my health issue that I've been having the past um, couple of weeks. Um, I mentioned in a couple of videos that I was having some problems. I just didn't want to talk about it at the time. Um, I get a lot of unsolicited advice <laughs> here on my YouTube channel and um, mm, Anyways, I'll just leave it at that because I, I will tell you, I was getting so much advice from everybody in my life, okay? <laughs> and it was just like, it's just kind of overwhelming and actually all I wanted to do was lay in bed and sleep. So, um, anyhow, I just wanted to talk about this, um, what I went through and maybe it'll help somebody um, in the future, okay? So, um, if you don't know what shingles is... Um, Basically, anybody who's had chicken pox has a chicken pox virus in them, and in your body can have an outbreak of shingles at any time. It doesn't happen just to older people. Um, I am 46 years old, and, and a big reaction I got from a lot of people was, you're too young for that. Um, but having had it and talking to a lot of people about it, you know, I know people who had it when they were 17. It were, you know, I've, I, I got the whole game of the stories from everybody. And, um, so it, it's just not an older person's, um, uh, problem, but basically the virus just gets active again in your body and it follows nerve endings. And so you usually you get outbreaks that start on your back and what that's where I had the rash. It started on my back at my spine and my lower back and it wrapped around to my stomach. Um, and it blisters up and is very painful. Um, a lot of people describe it as the worst pain that they ever had in their life. I don't think it's the worst pain I've ever had in my life. It's just the longest sustained pain <laughs> that I have, constant pain that you cannot get rid of. Um, and I think that's what makes it the worst pain and people describe it that way. Um, I consider myself pretty tough. I, I can take a lot of pain and, um, and it, it was pretty bad. I mean, it didn't make me cry or anything like that, but um, it, does, it did hurt, and I still am having pain. So um, the rash started for me, it's been more than two and a half weeks ago. It hasn't been quite three weeks, um, and um, and it still hasn't cleared up. It, it, it mostly has. I'm, I'm Mostly I just have pain if I actually hit the areas. Um, driving surprisingly causes a problem hitting bumps and it like jiggles <laughs> my skin or something it just like it's just like you feel every bump in the road sometimes and um so basically um you get this outbreak but you can have it on your arms your legs you can get it on your face um I know somebody, you know, around your eyes, your nose and stuff like that and that's more dangerous if it's up there it can make you go blind apparently so, um, you know, it took a couple of days once the blisters that came out before I actually had decided that that was really what I had was shingles. And I went online. That's what we do these days. We go online and we, we self-diagnose things, right? And I read that once the blisters come out that the medication doesn't do you any good. And let me tell you, that's wrong, okay? Um... I didn't go see a doctor until six days in and the one thing I would do different was just as soon as I thought that it was shingles I would have gone to the doctor right away but having read what I read online kind of implied that they wouldn't give you medicine or that it wouldn't make any difference if you took it, if you took the medicine um, after the blisters had come out that's what it implied to me but with my experience what happened was is if if all of the blisters had come out all at the same time it might have been a different situation but it you know over the course of about six days it moved from one large spot on my back around my side it was like every other day a new patch of the, <laughs> these these spots would show up and um and when it finally reached around the my front um I was like, I was imagining because it takes like 10 days or so for these blisters to go through their cycle for me it took longer it took about um they started peeling, um, drying up, I don't know, well, maybe at, at um, 10 days, it, I first started seeing the signs that they were actually drying up, 
but it took two weeks before they then they've been peeling and they still are a little bit it's it's like a really bad sunburn and um skin peeling and if you don't have red hair and you don't get sunburns you don't know what i'm talking about either there but I, actually the peeling was worse than a sunburn i will tell you that and um but anyways, but these, the, they were in different stages and I was imagining like actually being in that amount of pain for a month if these blisters got to that point. So I thought, well, if I'm still developing some spots and blisters, then if I go to the doctor and get the medicine, then maybe it at least will stop those even though I can't stop the ones that had already developed full on blisters. And uh, so anyways, I, I went to, uh, saw a doctor a uh, nurse practitioner actually and um and they gave me the medicine and i tell you what that first pill it was like these giant horse pills um the most the biggest pills i've ever had to take in my life <laughs> and i had to do it three times a day for seven days and um um that that first pill about five hours after taking that first pill I already saw the inflammation going down. I mean, it developed in these, I mean, large, large uh, red spots this big with blisters all over it. The two, two first spots that came out were that big. And um, just painful to touch. And um, it, it really, the pain really, I say, it didn't get bad until like a weekend. And, um, and by then I was taking the medicine and... But the medicine doesn't get rid of pain. It only, it stopped, it stopped the progression of the other spots from getting any worse. It, it, the inflammation went down and everything. And, um, and that's what it does. Because it's a virus, um, there, there really aren't medicines. It's not the same as bacterial infections where you get antibiotics. Um, you know, and it's not, I don't know how long this, um, antiviral drug has been out, but, and, you know, they're new basically they're they're new these antiviral things and they have a shot that you can go and get um but apparently insurance companies don't pay for that until you turn 50 and and what it is it, it doesn't guarantee that you won't ever have shingles it just lessens the likelihood that you're going to end up with shingles at some point in your life and um but um and I tell you what, I, I got sick at the, it, it just came on all at the wrong time. I had so much stuff to do a couple of weeks ago and, and it was just like one thing after another. And I was, you know, it, it caused enough pain that just when I walked and people didn't know that I had this going on because I wasn't like I was broadcasting, oh, I have shingles. Um, you know, people were like, well, is there something wrong? You look like you're in pain. And I said, well, yes, I am in pain. <laughs> and, um. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it was painful and I, a couple of days I just went to work in the morning, took half days so I could rest because it was like more than the pain. It was just like, I mean, it just, well, there was the pain, but it, it did something to my brain and, um, and I was feeling, um, spent <laughs> without doing anything. I, I couldn't think clearly, um. I just had a lack of energy. I mean, it, it affected my whole body. I was having, I'm having some pain up here and, and I, I totally, it was like, I feel the pain flaring up in my side. It would flare, this pain would hit me over here. I'm sure that there's something else, like it, it was affecting more than just where these pains were at. And then, and initially it would come on as like needle pricks, little needle pricks anywhere around in my legs, my thighs, in my hands, in the palms of my hands and down my arms. I was just getting these needle prick um, pains and then it turned into like someone jabbing you with large needles and <laughs> and that was like, and it would just come out of nowhere. It would just like burst of, of this intense pain. And um, and yeah, if, if, if you've never really been in pain in your life from anything, like having this, the, in feeling this, it's just like, extraordinary and um and their recommendation for pain reliever is acetaminophen um which i took some excedrin and um it would help cut the pain but it just didn't take care of it and then um i used um i tried cortisone 10 um as a topical just to cut down on the the itchy topical pain but i tell you what 
um, touching it just to put the cream on there, the gel stuff, it just, it, it became almost not even worth it. Um, I, I had this other, uh, topical antibiotic called Technu, uh, first aid cream and I, a gel, I found that worked better than the, um, than, than the cortisone 10 actually. Um, but it, it creates this burning sensation like and um, initially when it came on I felt like I had a rug burn on my back it's just like that kind of a, a burning sensation on the skin and itching before the rash ever came out and that's the sign that it's coming um, you know I never had it before I hope to never have this again I wouldn't wish it on anybody um, but and, and my my biggest um, thing I can say is go see a doctor if you think you have it um, at all because getting that medicine will really cut down on the spread of it and the and the inflammation and the outbreak so that it doesn't get as bad um, I mean I talked to somebody she told me she had it um, come on she knew what it was because her mother had had it and she and she got the medicine but she still said you know she still had pain and stuff even though right away she had gotten the medicine unlike me who waited some days so um, yeah, I think if I had gotten the medicine, if I had started taking it sooner, then it wouldn't have spread as much and I wouldn't have as, I've got like five spots around my side that are, you know, have problems. And I really feel like, and I don't know yet because these blisters have not completely um, disappeared, but I really feel like um, the spot on my back, the initial spot, and possibly the one on my side, the second one that came on, might actually have scars from it. That's that's how bad it is. And I did not itch it at all. I, I refused to itch it because I was like, itching it just makes it worse, right? And then you, and but it, I tell you what, you don't want to itch it. You want to itch it, but you don't because it is so painful to touch. And like, like um, a sleeping became difficult, just finding a comfortable spot. Um, having it all around my side and on my back like that so anyhow that's what's been going on with me and I'm I still like this morning feeling some pain from it um this is why I was totally not interested in couponing I tell you that <laughs> I just like I wasn't interested in doing anything uh and um uh nothing I I you know it, it's that kind of a pain um, that you just don't want to do anything <laughs> because moving around hurts. So, um, anyhow, I think I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> I, I feel a lot better and, um, my mind has cleared and that was the big thing today, um, Sunday a week ago, um, when I really felt like my mind had cleared up and, and I could think again. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, that's all. I'll talk to you guys later.